Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Oswald and welcome to another tutorial looking at the very basics of Paint.net. I got this question recently on YouTube from a user by the name of CemeteryGirl23 who said, I made a picture and when I went to color it on the new layer, nothing showed up. If I clicked on that other layer, all of the coloring went over the outline. I can't get it to go underneath, so if you could help me please, it would be extremely appreciated. Well, she says thank you, and I think I can help with this one, because I'm pretty sure I know what the problem is. So let's look here at what we can do. Now, as I had explained in tutorials before, what we usually do to start out, if we're doing some line art, is something like the following. We start with adding a new layer, and we can draw our line art on there. So we can draw, let's see here, we wanted to draw a little face. We could do something like that, and we've got our face. And let's say we want to color it, so we can add a new layer again. We can bring that layer, move layer down, and put it underneath this layer, because layers act kind of like transparent sheets, if you remember. I'll pick a color that I want to color that face, and I can color it in. As, as we see, it's not going over my black outlines. It's not going over the black face that I draw drew in the middle, the eyes and the mouth. So that is one way that you can do it that works fairly well. Um, that is not, however, what Cemetery Girl 23 did. I think what she did is the following. If we undo a few times here with Control Z, Control Z, I think what she did is she came in here just going diving right into paint.net, which, you know, is great and everything, but uh, I think she went to the bottom layer here and uh, she drew in the face, something like so. And, uh, you know, so she drew in her face here, and then she went to color it. She picked her color here, whatever color she wanted, and tried putting it on a new layer like that, and found that she was going over. Now, the mistake she made, of course, was that she didn't put on her new layer when she started um, to make her line art. Is she sunk? Not entirely. So let's see what we can possibly do. Um, and one way around this is we can look here at the properties of this layer. We can do something like this, and uh, we can change the properties of this layer. So there's all kinds of different properties here. You can fiddle around with them if you like, but these are two ones that would be useful here, either multiply or darken. I'll just take multiply for this time here. I'll press OK, and if I come in here and I draw on here, it's still doing that. So we can't do that with this layer. What we have to do is add a new layer, and then go to its properties, and then go to multiply, press OK, and if we draw onto this layer now, we'll see that it is not going over our black outline. So that is one way around things if we have done something such as what I was talking about. So. Um, that is an answer, I think, to Cemetery Girl 23's question, and that would help if for anybody who draws on their background layer instead of a transparent layer. So uh, that's a common problem, and I'm glad you asked the question. Remember, if you guys have any questions at all or things that you'd like me to cover, um, please send me a message, and um, I'll be happy to try to answer your question as best I can in one of these videos or even in just communication through the messages system. So we'll catch you guys next time. I'm Oswald. This has been another one of the very basics of Paint.net. Thanks very much for joining us.